Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Mass today on Friday, the 7th of August, week 18 of the Church's year. There's no special Mass intention today, but we're praying, all, as always, for Saviour and Mary Coney, Christine Galindo, Teresa Crichton, Father Benito, Brian Hubbs, Paul Gallagher, Noreen Steedman, Maggie Kaleska's mum, the mother of Mary Palomares, Carlos Duran, Rosa Beard, Luke Mehmet, Stephen Nightingale, Lena Vinayagam, healing for Julio and Anna, remembering too the people of Beirut, and also all care workers. Let's begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and with your spirit. Today's first reading from the prophet Nahum forcefully describes the end of Assyria, the great oppressor of Israel and other countries of the region. The gospel passage teaches that if necessary, everything must be sacrificed for the sake of Christ. So now let's pause for a moment and ask God's mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God of mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Draw near to your servants, O Lord, and answer their prayers with unceasing kindness, that for those who glory in you as their creator and guide, you may restore what you have created and keep safe what you have restored. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Nahum. See, over the mountains the messenger hurries. Peace, he proclaims. Judah, celebrate your feasts. Carry out your vows. For Belial will never pass through you again. He is utterly annihilated. Yes, the Lord is restoring the vineyard of Jacob and the vineyard of Israel. For the plunderers had plundered them, they had broken off their branches. Woe to the city soaked in blood, full of lies, stuffed with booty, whose plunderings know no end. The crack of the whip, the rumble of wheels, galloping horse, jolting chariot, charging cavalry, flash of swords, gleam of spears, a mass of wounded, hosts of dead, countless corpses. They stumble over the dead. I'm going to pelt you with filth, shame you, make you a public show. And all who look on you will turn their backs on you and say, Nineveh is a ruin. Could anyone pity her? Where can I find anyone to comfort her? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Response to the psalm. It is the Lord who deals death and life. It is the Lord who deals death and life. It is close the day of their ruin. Their doom comes at speed. For the Lord will see his people righted. He will take pity on his servants. It is the Lord who deals death and life. 
See now that I, I am he, and beside me there is no other God. It is I who deal death and life. When I have struck, it is I who heal. It is the Lord who deals death and life. When I have whetted my flashing sword, I will take up the cause of right. I will give my foes as good again. I will repay those who hate me. It is the Lord who deals death and life. Alleluia, alleluia. Speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You have the message of eternal life. Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If anyone wants to be a follower of mine, let him renounce himself and take up his cross and follow me. For anyone who wants to save his life will lose it. But anyone who loses his life for my sake will find it. What then will a man gain if he wins the whole world and ruins his life? Or what has a man to offer in exchange for his life? For the Son of Man is going to come in the glory of his Father with his angels. And when he does, he will reward each one according to his behaviour. I tell you solemnly, there are some of these standing here who will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming with his kingdom. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The early part of the first reading looks forward to the restoration of the two vineyards of Israel and Judah, plundered by Assyria. Now the great city of Nineveh, the capital of Assyria, is going to get a dose of her own medicine. It is a proclamation that the Lord who protects his people is the ultimate master of history. When Peter spoilt his confession of faith in Jesus as the Messiah and Son of God by trying to turn Jesus away from the suffering of the cross, he received no congratulations but only a rebuke. Jesus clearly predicts his suffering and the disciples can't stomach the message. On more than one occasion, Jesus repeats the message for them. They too must share his suffering. Christ comforted the widow who had lost her only son. Let us pray to him who will come at the last to wipe away every tear from our eyes. And our response is, come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, you consoled especially the poor and troubled. Look with mercy on those in any kind of need, especially the people of Beirut. Come, Lord Jesus. The angel brought you the Father's comfort on the eve of your passion. We pray that your comfort may strengthen those who are dying. Come, Lord Jesus. Let all exiles know your care for them. May they find their homelands once more and come one day in joy to the Father's house. Come, Lord Jesus. Look in love on all whose sins have separated them from you. Reconcile them to yourself and to your church. Come, Lord Jesus. The dead suffered the pain and loss of human life. Give them the fullness of life and joy in heaven. Come, Lord Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Lord God, the cross reveals the mystery of your love, a stumbling block indeed for unbelief, but the sign of your power and wisdom to us who believe. Teach us so to contemplate your Son's glorious passion, that we may always believe and glory in his cross, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ. He humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity. Cleanse me. From my sin. Pray now, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Graciously sanctify these gifts, O Lord, we pray. And accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice, make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that we should always give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. You do not cease to spur us on to possess a more abundant life. And being rich in mercy, you constantly offer pardon and call on sinners to trust in your forgiveness alone. Never did you turn away from us. And though time and again we have broken your covenant, you have bound the human family to yourself through Jesus, your Son, our Redeemer, with a new bond of love so tight that it can never be undone. Even now you set before your people a time of grace and reconciliation, and as they turn back to you in spirit, you grant them hope in Christ Jesus and a desire to be of service to all while they entrust themselves more fully to the Holy Spirit. And so, filled with wonder, we extol the power of your love, and proclaiming your joy at the salvation that comes from you, we join in the heavenly hymn of countless hosts, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and from the world's beginning are ceaselessly at work so that the human race may become holy just as you yourself are holy. Look, we pray upon your people's offerings and pour out on them the power of your Spirit that they may become the body and blood 
of your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, in whom we too are your sons and daughters. Indeed, though we once were lost and could not approach you, you loved us with the greatest love. For your Son, who alone is just, handed himself over to death, and did not disdain to be nailed for our sake to the wood of the cross. But before his arms were outstretched between heaven and earth to become the lasting sign of your covenant, he desired to celebrate the Passover with his disciples. As he ate with them, he took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to them, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, knowing that he was about to reconcile all things in himself through his blood to be shed on the cross, he took the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, and once more, giving you thanks, handed the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of your Son, Jesus Christ, who is our Passover and our surest peace, we celebrate his death and resurrection from the dead. And looking forward to his blessed coming, we offer you, who are our faithful and merciful God, this sacrificial victim who reconciles to you the human race. Look kindly, most compassionate Father, on those you unite to yourself by the sacrifice of your Son, and grant that by the power of the Holy Spirit, as they partake of this one bread and one chalice, they may be gathered into one body in Christ, who heals every division. Be pleased to keep us always in communion of mind and heart, together with Francis, our Pope, and Vincent, our Bishop. Help us to work together for the coming of your kingdom, until the hour when we stand before you, saints among the saints in the, king, in the halls of heaven, with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and all the saints, and with our deceased brothers and sisters, whom we humbly commend to your mercy. Then, freed at last from the wound of corruption, and made fully into a new creation, we shall sing to you with gladness the thanksgiving of Christ, who lives for all eternity. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now, obedient to our Lord's command, let's pray as he taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me depart from. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Accompany with constant protection, O Lord, those you renew with these heavenly gifts, and in your never-failing care for them, make them worthy of eternal redemption, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Good to have you with me at Mass today. Hope you have a good day today. Let me know of any prayer intentions you want me to mention. The next Mass to be broadcast will be the Sunday Mass, available usually from Saturday evening. The Food Bank Collection will continue this week with deliveries welcome on Sunday between 8am and 1pm. The list of requests will appear on the screen after the Mass. Now Sunday Masses will be having again the two Masses on Sunday at 10am and 12 noon. If you want to come to the Mass, do please arrive early, 15 minutes before the start of the Mass. Remember, there are no toilet facilities, and from this weekend, face coverings are mandatory at the Mass. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.
Thanks be to God. Have a great day. God bless.